I think 91 was something that always uh, memories for me when I I came. Uh, basically, we, we watched the game here. The Samoa, the, the government put on a huge screen here for all the locals to, uh, to come and watch the game. So I was one of those kids uh, running around here and sort of watching that 91 game against uh, Wales. So it really inspired me to, uh, you know, to represent the country. And I can see rugby sort of bring the people together. So I think that was the main reason for me is, you know, wanted to represent our country and get our people and our, uh, behind us and, you know, be proud of who you are and your family as well. So, yeah, so the, I was lucky enough to, to have the opportunity to play professional and make a career out of it. And, I'm so fortunate to, you know, to have those memories and and I treasure it for the rest of my life. I remember watching the World Cup in uh, 1987. That was hard in New Zealand, and I thought that was that was awesome. Uh, until 1991 came along, and um, I saw one Samoa playing, and I thought it's pretty awesome. My my, my my people on the world stage. So you know, I think that that's what uh spark the flame I suppose and, and you know, seeing seeing your heroes on TV is uh it's pretty awesome and, and um I think since then um I've always always enjoyed um always enjoyed rugby. Um didn't, didn't ever think it would uh, become a career. Um and uh, yeah I think now it's now it's a uh, it's a part of everyday life for me and, and um I, I wouldn't change a thing. I come from the villages of uh, Mota and Ngatai Rai and Savai. Moving here to Samoa, is, uh, it's been awesome. I really enjoyed it and it's been eye-opening. I haven't lived in Samoa since I was four years old. It's weird to say, but it was a bit of a culture shock and moving back to Samoa, but absolutely loving it. And it, I love the, the pace of life and um, and that I'm surrounded by my people. So it's, um, it's, it's been an... Um, a tough, a tough transition, um, but at the same time, it's uh, like like most challenges. It's, it's it's been um, it's it's been awesome to to grow and and uh, and especially bring my family over here. My village uh, from Savai, Saleula, yeah, and Lepea and Lokopa here in, in Upolu. Quite challenging moving back from uh, you know, moving back home, but I guess I sort of I was brought up here, so it was that make it a lot easier, moving back to where my parents are, uh, been, been living for most of their life. So, you know, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty challenging. You know, I guess uh, more lifestyle is sort of laid back. And, you know, you sort of don't need a lot of stuff here. So, yeah, well, it's, it's pretty good. You know, I'm, I'm really enjoying it with my family as well. So, being here for the last 10 years, so I'm a real local boy now. <laughs> There's a lot of players I, I, I looked up to um, growing up, like so, Tzor uh, Wainga, Geneti Sio, and then seeing guys like Apollo Perilini and Pat Lamb playing. I was fortunate enough to go to high school in South Auckland with Jonah Lomo. That was a pretty cool moment in my life, um, um, seeing, seeing him at school and then seeing the things that he went on and, um, and achieved. A player that I really used to love watching playing is um, Philippe Selaf, uh, French centre. He was um, he, he was pretty awesome, but I've had a um, I've been fortunate enough to, to to play with a lot of good players, and uh, a lot of those players um, were, were inspiration um, inspiration for me too. Um, especially the guy sitting next to me, he's um, he's he he one of my heroes as well. So it's uh, it's awesome when we still get to work together. There are quite a few uh, players I sort of, you know, sort of watch and follow. I, I guess the one that's really stand out for me is Michael Jones. And you know, he's you know, the sort of guy that when he first he couldn't play on Sunday, so that's something that makes him special and you know to our culture as well. Sundays, you know, everyone go to church. So that you can't play or you can't do anything on Sunday. Peter Fats. I guess, you know. Peter's the sort of guy, the leadership they had, you know, and uh, they sort of really want to 
help his people as well, trying to bring rugby up in um, you know, Manusau more where, where it is now, you know, through the uh, 91 World Cup. And he really, really inspired me because he's a great leader and he's sort of trying to bring, bring the players together and get our people behind the team as well. So, yeah. What comes to mind when I think of World Cup uh, 23? Um, pressure? <laughs> 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 um, uh, I'm just excited. Uh, excited about the opportunity. It's a big year and, and I believe we can um, build a really good squad to represent Samoa. It's a great opportunity to, to not just perform perform well and, 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 and results, but also to inspire every, every young Samoan kid in the world that, that that's playing rugby to want to play for them for Mun Samoa. So what we're trying to create is is uh, is a team that the young Samoans, um, wherever they are in the world, want to be a part of and, and represent and, and, and also a team that people can be proud of. That's what I think of when I think of uh, um, World Cup, World Cup 23 because it's uh, this is this is a huge year, um, but it's also a great opportunity to 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 really put put something in place that will last for the next few generations and and really create a legacy of of um, of, of what Mun Samoa uh, could be, uh, what it should be, and the potential is scary. And um, yeah, did I mention pressure? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's I'm I'm, I'm very excited and, and it's, it's 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 not um, lost on me the enormity of the task ahead. But I, I know I've surrounded myself with with great people and 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 and, and also getting um, uh, some more people uh, behind this team. I, I think um, uh, the. the the level of achievement, um, what we can achieve is, uh, is limitless. First thing came in my mind, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, you know, it's a huge challenge. And I, I, I guess it's, you know, the, it's a sort of tournament that measure ourselves as well, where we're at as, as a group. And especially all the best players in the world will come together, show talent, uh, show their culture as well, you know. For me, as a every year that we go to the walk-up, I said is probably rugby sort of bring people together and I'm excited what we can uh, uh, what we can achieve this year so yeah that's that's, that's the thing for me is I'm, I'm really excited for this challenge so uh, we're looking forward to it Did you go to Chester? Uh, no <laughs>